Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Dig! When last we left off, as you can see, Brink is no longer dead. After checking the museum exhibits in the so-called museum, we found what has been dubbed a Life Crystal, that uh, Low used on Brink to bring Brink back from the dead. In fact, Brink feels better than he's ever felt before, both in mind and body, and has now decided that these are the best thing that have ever happened ever and wants to bring uh, some of them back to Earth, if they eventually get there, so that he can um, gift humanity with basically the feeling that he's feeling now. Lo is a little more worried about it, mainly because an apparition here made the shape of a skull over them. And while Brink thinks that uh, is indicating that the aliens are showing them the cure to death, Brink thinks that they're, uh, Brink, uh, thinks that they're safe, while Lo thinks they're dangerous. Low thinks they are very, very dangerous. There indeed are many crystals here. They give off light, but no heat. Hmm. We are not going to be taking any of them, I don't think. We are, however, going to be uh, moving on, I believe. Going to be moving on to a uh, another area. Let's basically head outside. If anything, we could show him the uh, the actual bridge of light. That might be interesting. Let's go and see if we can show off this bridge of light. Outside! And over by the water. Anything for you to say right now, Brink? Brink. I don't think so, unless we talk about the crystals. What do you think the chances are that scientists back on the Ah, we've heard this one. But if they have to, you have and not my mu we have to. Yep, we've heard that one. Thanks. We don't need to hear that again. Let's go over here, shall we? We could actually talk to Maggie about Brink. That's actually an interesting point. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? This is Robbins. Let's talk about Brink. Brink is alive again. I can't believe it. I can't either. I sure hope he's the same person. There indeed is... Ah, surely there's no ominous foreshadowing there. Thanks. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going, shall we? Over to the water. We'll show him the sea turtle. Gross. Hey, Brink. Do you think... Brink? Brink? Where are you? Brink, answer me. Brink, can you hear me? Where are you? Maggie, Brink's run off. He wasn't acting very rational when we found a big supply of life crystals. I'm afraid maybe those things are addictive, or they altered his personality or something. Ghost tried to warn us, but Brink was feeling too cocky to listen to good advice. Just when this place starts looking benign, it finds new ways to be dangerous. Anyway, I'm going on without him. I can't think of anything else to do. I'll try to contact him now and then, see if he's willing to talk. Thanks, Maggie. I'm beginning to take this personally. Nobody wants to stay with me. Maybe it's my deodorant. I think it failed somewhere back there on Attila. I'm sure it's not that, but there are some loose bones here that we want to examine. This is, in fact, a puzzle. Scattered bones still moist from being chewed on by that monster. We need to get rid of that monster. And we need to assemble this um, creature to do so. Let's see what we can do. Put that there. Let's see. We basically need to... Uh, Assemble this in a sort of interesting way. Let's see if we put that there and this Here like that. I'm trying to basically work out how this goes Let's see we move that to no, that one's too long. I think Maybe we put that there like that well, That's not gonna fit there at all is it? That, nope, don't see that fitting there in particular. Then again, it could fit, like... No, I don't think it's going to fit there at all. Hmm. That 
is a tail. I'm pretty sure that's a tail. That is an... That's an arm. Okay, that's an arm. So if you put that, say... If you put that there... No, there? We need to find the other arm part. So that goes like that. That I'm pretty sure goes... Actually, I'm pretty sure that goes there. And that goes here? Yeah, I think that goes there. Yeah, I think that goes there. And then this goes here? Like that? I'm just trying to work out basically how this works. So that could go... That doesn't go there, I don't think. Does it go here? No. Just trying to work out what this creature looks like. No, that's not going to go there at all. Hmm. I'm just sort of trying to uh, figure out what this creature looks like. So it's not going to be that. Hmm. I'm trying to remember from the appearance of uh, what it looks like. I have a theory on what I actually want to do here. Maybe I've got this the wrong way around. Maybe I've got that the wrong way around. That would uh, most likely help in that regard. Hmm. Or maybe I've got this completely the wrong way around. Maybe that goes... No, that would not go there. Hmm. It goes here. Maybe? Hmm. There? Or maybe I've got this completely right. It had a long head, didn't it? It had a long head. Okay, that seems a little better. That seems a little better. That still doesn't fit very well, though. That doesn't fit very well at all. That doesn't fit like... Hang on. That looks a little better. That looks much better. We have another one of these arms. Like... That? Ah, okay. That's a little better. That's better. That looks more like an actual... Creature. So that could go there. Uh, hmm. Where does this go? That's actually a pretty good point. Maybe this all moves a little down, so this could go... Ah, okay, that's a little better. That's actually much better, so that could go... Hmm, that could go here? Okay, this is starting to make some sense now. Okay, this is definitely starting to look like a creature now. That could go there. That could go... There? Like that? I think I've done it! I think that looks like a creature! Yup, I think that looks like a creature. Do you think? I think that looks like a creature. Let's see if we can uh, use the canister on this creature, because if memory serves, that's what you do with this. I can't use these two things together. You can't? Have I got this vaguely wrong? Have I got it slightly wrong? I bet I have. I bet I've got these arms mixed up, haven't I? Yep. That looks a little better. I think that looks a little better. Hmm. Let's see if that's any better. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's try it. You just need a little something to make you complete, my friend. How about a little alien explosive device? We're about to do something that's quite clever. We're going to use one of these glowing life crystals on the turtle to bring it back to life with an explosive in it. Thereby, when the uh, larger creature eats it, it will eat the explosive. This is a very clever bit of thinking. And basically, I remember this because it took me so long the first time I played it to figure it out. It lives! Boom. And down goes the weird sea creature. And hopefully all those uh, sea turtles will be okay now. Let's now go into this cave. Now that the water's safe for swimming, I think it's time to see what's in that underwater cave. 
Let's have a look. There we go. What is in here? There's a chamber. Let's have a look at that water first. Looks like a long swim back to the surface. Wasn't that long to get there, but I'm pretty sure you can do it just fine, Lo. Ooh, this is a nice view. Also, here's one of those rods. We want that rod. We have a lot of these rods. Definitely want this one. Another engraving. Well, let's grab it. We have a lot of these now. Also, here's one of those plates. We want that too. <laughs> this looks just like one of the plates we used in the asteroid that got us into this mess. Well, why don't we take it? It's pretty small. We're not taking the whole thing with us, which is handy. Let's now uh, head back to the surface. I think we have everything we need here. There we go. Also, um, any word from Brink yet, Maggie? Is Brink gonna talk to us? Brink, come in, Brink. Great. We just decided to play hide and seek. Well, I don't have time to waste on short host games. No, indeed, we shall, um, I think we'll be able to talk to Brink when Brink wants to talk to us. Robbins, this is low, do you read? Robbins here, I read you. We could say that we found another plate. Maggie, I found some plates, like the ones in the asteroid that triggered our journey here. For all we know, any plates we find might send us on a voyage. Tell you what. Great. Yeah. We've heard that one before. It's more the Brink conversation I want to talk about. Brink seemed to be getting pretty strange before he took off on his own. Perhaps those crystals have some sort of side effect. Or maybe he just wants to be alone for a while. Hmm. Thanks. I'm a little more leaning on the first line here rather than the second. We're going to head back to the tram now. We have another one of those plates. And we can't double click to quickly pass through the tram because they want us to see that cinematic. So, ooh, actually, that's a point. I actually want to go back and uh, I actually want to go and see if there are any more of those crystals left. There should be plenty left. I'm sure we'll be coming back here. I'm sure we'll be coming back here. I want to basically put this uh, this uh, plate in and then see if we can uh, see how many of those crystals are left. I'm sure loads of them. Brink can't have possibly carried all of them off with him. I could actually head back now, but I'd rather actually go and uh, have a look otherwise. Up here. We want to find where those um, those plates go and put another one in. Because we now have two. What these plates actually do, I don't yet know. Also, I don't know how you get through that one. Maybe that's the lock for that door? Who knows? Well, let's use this plate, shall we? This one here, I believe, goes here. Excellent. Let's have a look at it. One of the metal plates. We need a few of them. We need four. I don't know where they're going to take us, but... Um, Let's see what we can do first. Alright. There are various of these doors. I don't quite know which one opens which, but hey, we're about to have a look. We've opened that one. We've opened that one. This must be where all the trams go. The trams will go to different areas. What about this panel? This panel has uh, four... Is this the red one? Is that the clue that this is the red one we need to look at? What is the red one? That's the uh, ROM button. I need to actually click that and that. The red one is the green, the green diamond times two, a red triangle, and a blue square. <laughs> Let's see if that opens this. So we want two green diamonds. We have a red triangle there. I think a blue square might actually be pretty easy to make. Actually, green, uh, green diamonds are actually going to be easier to make. Mainly because they're that easy to access. There we go. Green diamond. Green diamond. Red triangle. 
and a blue square. Is that right? I think that's right, but maybe this isn't the right door. Maybe this isn't the right door. I'm not sure this is the right door. What other ones do we actually have? We have this orange one, which is a uh, red hexagon, green hexagon, red and green. So red hexagon, green hexagon, red triangle, and green diamond. Let's see if that one is the one that we want. Well, we might as well have a look. So green hexagon? Red triangle, green diamond. We might as well have a look. We might as well have a look. It's probably not going to open it. Green diamond. And we want red hexagon and green hexagon. That's green hexagon. That is indeed green hexagon. And this is, uh, we want red hexagon here. Also, that's actually a hexagon. Yeah, that's, um... There we go, let's find the red hexagon. That's actually the hexagon, isn't it? There we go! We've opened one. Now this, if my... Yup, another tram area. Does it work? Yes. Yes, it does. Handy. We should actually open all of these, I think. So, we've used the orange one. And we've also used the um, purple one. So, one of these doors should open to the red one. This one, maybe? This one was, uh, two green diamonds. Give it a go. Might as well open all these doors. See what we can find beyond. Green diamond, green diamond, red triangle, blue square. You can't hold it to, uh, do it. You've just got to keep clicking. Blue square. There we go. How did they keep shutting these doors? Yep, another tram area. So this literally is an Nexus. What about this one? Uh-oh. The other trams came as soon as I called them. Maybe there are some controls somewhere. Yeah, that one's not working. That one is not working. How many of these actual things do we have? We have three, so in, uh, four actually. So in theory, we could actually open all of the doors. There's one more door here we haven't yet opened. And I think we haven't yet looked at this one. It's a rod engraved. Five geometric shapes. And that's the problem. It has five geometric shapes and that only has four. While we're actually at it, we should um, look at this one and head back to the uh, the museum area. I want to have a look and see what's happened to all those life crystals. See if Brink is there. Although how Brink's managing to get to places, I don't know. Away to the museum! Fortunately, we don't need to pay for any tickets to get in. It would probably be expensive, and in alien money. We don't have any alien money. Or at least I don't think we have any alien money. He's not here. I thought he might be here, but no. No, he is not. We're going to need to find a um, place to basically use the controls for the trams, because we do not have access to uh, one of the trams. We've opened three of the, uh, actually, we've opened three of the five doors in the Nexus. Because there's one door that doesn't have the actual um, same codes, and the other one, um, we don't have the actual rod for. So, when we come back, folks, 
we've managed to defeat a strange sort of sea creature. We didn't get any experience for doing so, unfortunately. Low is not yet level 2. Getting to level 2 with Low is very important after all, it unlocks most of his abilities. But we may never get there at this rate. Blast. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.